Well, hello friends. Last week we did an extreme RV clean with me video and this week we're gonna do a part two because our RV is our first home but our second home and the place where we spend the second largest amount of time is the car. The Yukon. So our Yukon is disgusting inside and out and it needs a serious bath. So we're going to work on getting the Yukon all cleaned up inside and out and we'll take you along for that. And then I'm also going to work on cleaning out the pass through of the RV and the outdoor kitchen, which really isn't a kitchen for us anymore because we've really kind of made it our garage. But with traveling for a year, it needs a good um, purging and organization as well. Things just get kind of out of whack over time. But we're gonna work on cleaning the Yukon together and want you to tag along. So let's get to it. Yay! We're gonna go and we're gonna clean out the inside of the car now and vacuum it out. There was somebody over there a few minutes ago. There's only one working vacuum apparently. So we are gonna go get the inside cleaned out and it was definitely the worst. So here we go. First thing we're gonna do is work on getting everything cleaned out. This should be fun. There's so much mess, it's underneath the seats. An official card holder for the Avengers. Woohoo! Avengers assemble. Yeah. Okay, we need to regroup. I got the front seat vacuumed out pretty good and the console vacuum. I got this vacuumed, but I need to get underneath the seat and I need to get behind the seat. Um, so what we have to do is kind of strategize, otherwise we waste money when we're vacuuming. So I need to, maybe the next thing to do is get in front of this seat and in front in the front passenger seat, and then we'll open up these seats. Sound good? Thank you. 
Okay, so truth be told, if you were to take a close look in the car right now, it would probably not look clean to you. But I know that it is a world apart from what it was. Part of our issue is that we're just in the car so much that it gets super cluttered and we need to get a ton better at taking things inside and putting things away in their place and also throwing out trash because there was just so much garbage. It was gross and I'm embarrassed, but we're being super real by showing you just how gross it was but that was probably just step one was getting things wiped down and vacuumed and throwing out a bunch of junk step two needs to be cleaning the windows on the inside and cleaning out the trunk really well because the trunk gets pretty gross too It's shaping up to be a beautiful night and I am done. At least as done as I want it to be for today. Nothing is cleaned perfectly, but it's so much better than it was. And hopefully I didn't make the outdoor kitchen slash garage to be so organized that Joe can't find anything. I guess we'll find out. If you enjoyed this video, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We do videos about our life, living in an RV, and talking about homeschool, and other ways of doing life deliberately. Until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. <laughs> see, I'm not the only weirdo. Yeah. Hannah, you know, Hannah, we can do a shirt. No. Then there's Hannah. No. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 